First up tonight at 530, we start with campaign 2020. Election day is seven weeks from today. And because of the coronavirus, for the first time now, anyone can vote with an absentee ballot. Some are worried about privacy protection and if towns are prepared to handle an overwhelming number of mail-in ballots. Chief Capitol reporter Susan Raff is live outside City Hall in Hartford. And Susan, all of this has a lot of people talking. We learned so many things today, Aaron, and perhaps right off the bat, we learned that town clerks are very busy. In fact, we had a hard time even just talking to one. They have a big job these days, handling what could be an overwhelming number of absentee ballots. Voters went to the polls in the August primary, but more than 10 times that number used absentee ballots. And that's important this year because a lot of people, I don't believe, would have voted were it not for the change we made. Connecticut's Secretary of the State says in the primary, 68% voted absentee. Normally, it's only 5%. You can still vote in person. All polling places are open. And ballots must be received by 8 p.m. on Election Day. How safe are those ballots? Your ballot has to go in this inner envelope. That's sealed. None of your information is on it. That goes in an outer envelope. That's sealed. While towns are sending out those applications now, you may have to wait a while before you get your ballot because there are 500 different ones. That's one of the reasons we have to wait until October to actually mail your ballot because they're not ready until then. There are all these different offices and other questions on the ballot, so they all have to be tailor-made to your district. You can also track your ballot online. And if you're concerned that mailing it, it could get delayed, you can drop off your ballot in these white boxes, which are outside all town and city halls. Towns have also been given money to hire extra people to process absentee ballots and make polling places safer. There will be masks, there will be six feet apart, just like you see at the supermarkets. Only a certain number of people will be allowed in the polling places. So again, the deadline for these absentee ballots to be received is election day at 8 p.m. And you can drop them off in these white ballot boxes outside your town hall. But good advice, you want to do it sooner than later, because depending on how many absentee ballots there are, we could see some delays when it comes to results on election night. We are live in Hartford, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.